Well, hello there. This is Mr. Chitteroff. Um, I miss all of you very much. I'm here in the classroom, room 164, and there's really nobody here on campus right now, and it's kind of creepy. You know, in the hallways, there's nobody all by myself. But it's time for a little hind limb review, and um, I'm gonna do my best, I'm going solo, so I'll try to get nice clean pictures and images for you guys and a video, so here we go. As you can see with my cat, after a while they get kind of some mold going on. You guys see that on the elbow? It's kind of gross, but it's just something I have to deal with as with the older cats. And I'm going to do a virtual digestion dissection with you guys, because it's such a cool dissection, and I wanna make sure you guys see everything. So as you're looking at um, cat, before I call it out, see if you can call it out yourself if you remember. I know the hind limb has been a while, so we're gonna start from the outside and go to the inside. Okay, this big muscle right here, big sucker. This is the biceps femoris. Okay, it's adjacent to the femur. It's a bicep because it has two heads. That's biceps femoris. Okay, over here we have um, this muscle that terminates in this connective tissue. If you remember, this is called the tensor fascia lata. Tensor because it's a muscle and it gets tense. And then this connective tissue that connects it all the way to the knee. If you remember, this is called the fascia lata. Fascia lata here, tensor fascia lata there. Underneath it, we have this big, one of the quadricep muscles, vastus lateralis. This whole thing is vastus lateralis. Let me work up over here. This is the, these are the butt muscles. Let's see if we can keep that in focus. Okay, this one that's on the perimeter and it's uh, thinner, this is gluteus maximus. Okay, the stuff that I'm holding up is gluteus maximus. This big one right here is gluteus medius. Okay, so it's bigger on the cat, smaller on a human. The gluteus maximus is smaller on a cat, bigger on a human. Okay, now next to the biceps femoris, we have the cotto femoralis. Cotto for tail, caudal, because it's coming, that's when it's origin, it comes over here. So cotto femoralis, biceps femoris, okay? Then let's come down to the lower leg, and we're going to work anterior to posterior. Now this first one that sits on the outside, remember we, we came to the conclusion this one causes shin splints, tibialis anterior, anterior because it's on the front of the body. Next one is extensor digitorum longus. Okay, just like on the forelimb, but this is the hind limb version of it. Then we have the peroneus group. Outer one is the peroneus longus, okay, and it's defined by this tendon that sits lateral. And then behind that is the peroneus tertius. Tert for short, because it's a shorter muscle. Peroneus tertius, peroneus longus. Then this one is the soleus right there. And then this one, if you remember, the big old calf muscle, gastrocnemius, which terminates in the calcaneal tendon and attaches to the calcaneus. So the soleus and the gastrocnemius both terminate in the Achilles tendon or the calcaneal tendon. Okay, so once more, tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, peroneus longus, peroneus tertius, soleus, more in focus, yeah. Soleus and gastrocnemius, okay? So that's lateral leg. Let's go lateral deep since we're already over here. Okay, we're gonna start posteriorly. This one right here is called the semitendinosus, one of your hamstring muscles. This bigger one right there is the semimembranosus. Semimembranosus, semitendinosus, then adductor femoris, vastus lateralis. So adductor femoris is this one right in that pocket right there. Two hamstrings, semimembranosus, semitendinosus. The T is on the outside. And then we have this big nerve branch, which is the sciatic nerve. And if you remember this little guy right there, some of them are tiny on your guys' cats, that's the tenusimus. Tunisimus, sciatic nerve. This whole thing is the biceps femoris, the backside of it. Cauda femoralis. 
So these can be from either side. Now, in this pocket, we have two muscles, okay? This is the part of the sciatic nerve. This is the quadratus femoris, this big blocky guy right there. And then on the inside is the gemellus inferior. Gemellus inferior is in the interior. Quadratus femoris is towards the outside. Sciatic nerve right there, tenusimus. Adductor femoris, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, and the big old vastus lateralis. Okay, so let me switch this over. Next, we're gonna show you the internal, the medial thigh. Let me flip this over. This is gonna be a little bit challenging. I have to try to get my cat to balance in place. Ah. <laughs> stay, stay kitty, stay. Okay. Um, okay. Superficial, medial, this is the gracilis, G-R-A-C-I-L-I-S, and you can see it just kind of flops over because it was attached to the knee and I cut it right there. And then the other one is the sartorius, okay? This is the one that covers the inside. I cut it away so you can see these um, medial muscles here. Ah, uh, come on. Okay. Let's skip back to, okay, so I'm gonna flop the gracilis out of the way. Okay, here we have the semimembranosus, remember that one? This is the adductor femoris, okay? And then we have the adductor longus, right there. Adductor longus, and the pectineus. So it goes pectineus, adductor longus, adductor femoris. These are all the adductors, AKA the groin muscles. And there's this one right here. And you see this is, this is the abdominal wall, right? This is the internal oblique. And then this muscle kind of comes out from underneath it. This is the iliopsoas. I double L, I <laughs> double L, I O P S O A S. It's one of the psoas muscles. It's called the iliopsoas because it comes attached to the ilium of the coxal bone. So iliopsoas coming from out the abdominal wall. And then we have the little guy, pectineus, right there. Then adductor longus, adductor femoris, semimembranosus. Okay. Gracilis, sartorius here from the knee all on the outside. And then underneath, we have the vastus lateralis, the rectus femoris, and the vastus medialis, okay? So the vastus are the buns of the hot dog, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and the hot dog itself is the rectus femoris. See, it looks like a hot dog. There's one bun, there's another bun, and there's the dog, okay? Again, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, rectus femoris, okay? So these are three of the four quadricep muscles, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, rectus femoris. The other one is the vastus intermedialis, but it's deep and it's one that's really hard to find on the cat, so we don't find that one, okay? All right, for medial lower hind limb, um, we have a different view of the tibialis anterior. We have right here, that's the tibia, you guessed it. This is the flexor digitorum longus because it's on the flexor side, the medial side of the tibia. And then um, this is the gastrocnemius. We can't even see the soleus really. I guess that's it right there. Soleus, gastrocnemius, okay? So gastrocnemius, soleus, flexor digitorum longus, pulls away from the bone there, tibia, tibialis anterior. Well, I miss all of you guys very much. And uh, for you seniors, um, I've got something planned in the works. Um, we'll have to see if, uh, if opportunities open up in the near future. And then juniors, you guys got to stop by and see me uh, when the fall starts.